Hey guys, welcome back to Program Hub and today in this episode we're gonna talk about the battery life in the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor for programming. So if you're doing some programming task, if you're using it for programming, what would be the battery life in this machine? We'll be talking about it. So guys, just to explain you better what would be the battery life, I would like to get you some statistics and some graphs of the battery level. So guys, into this battery level graph we can see that, so around 3 p.m. yesterday, my battery was around 40% so I started to use this for programming I was developing some projects on flutter as well as we had got some emulators open up and at the same moment of time there was some browsing going on so there was some activities for the safari and some more activities going on inside the background so at that moment of time it the battery percentage at around 3 p.m. yesterday was around 40% and we used it continuously for a long period of time and Finally, coming around 7.30 to 8 p.m., the battery dropped to 10%. That means from 3 p.m. to around 7.30 to 8 p.m., that means around 5 hours of an usage, and the battery consumption was 30%. So for 4 to 5 hours of usage for programming, where I was using emulators, I was developing some projects, also I was browsing in some content. So in total, the battery consumption was 30%. And if you look into the graph, you can see that there is a red mark. So this red marks into the graph indicates that the battery percentage was below 10%. So I was also using the laptop for a very long time on to just 10% of battery. So I even went till 5%. And here you can see that it lasted me around for 30 to 40 minutes. And I just stopped at 5% and then I started to charge the laptop. And that is what you can see here. So guys, if I break this down and complete conclusion of the battery life on this machine for programming, I can very well say this, that it can help you to last for more than 10 to 12 hours of programming if you're working on to emulators, also if you're working on to virtual machines. So if you're using those kind of development environments where you'll be using virtual machines, emulators, because prior to this, I also had the MacBook Pro 15 inch, that was 2018 model. And in that, if I used any of the emulators or virtual machines, and if I went for a development, so that lasted me just for around three to four hours onto a complete 100% battery. So an 100% battery lasted me for three to four hours, whereas just 30% of the battery life lasted me for more than four hours. So that's a really good battery life that can be provided to you in the new MacBook. So in a final conclusion, if you want to use this machine for programming, so you can very easily use it for more than 12 hours of an usage because once I charge this to 100%, it easily takes me for more than two days of complete battery life and the workflows and I do not need to charge it again. So that's a very good battery life that is provided into this machine for programming. So guys, this had been the complete review about this topic. If you have got any more questions, please leave that down into the comment section below. We'll be happy to answer you. And if you liked our video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Meet you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.